You are watching T to the M to the I D D. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? T to the M to the I D D in Chicago with Miss Corey. Oh, you like that? It was good. It was good. Okay. <laughs> so we have a shoot that we are going to try to get. It looks like it's trying to get a little cloudy right now. So uh, we have a one light set up and here to help me with that. Where can we find you at? You can find me on Instagram at Kodawu, K-O-D-A-A-W-U, and TikTok and YouTube at Corey Gray, K-O-R-I, Gray with the E. Got you. Okay, I'm going to put that in the bottom left-hand corner. So, we got a lot to get right now. Are you ready? I am. Are you you sure? You know how to do the gritty? The, I cannot gritty. I'm not going to lie. I'll try, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we go. Yeah. Come on. Let me, let me, let me see your, let me see your best. <laughs> All right, are you you ready? You I ready know, to go? I'm let's ready. let's go. <laughs> Three. Let's see how that look. I like that. I like that. Okay, Corey. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna get a full body like that. One, two, three. Boom. Boom. Turn your head to me a little bit. Chin up a little bit. Perfect. Good right there. That's good right there. I like this. That's all good. <laughs> yeah. Give me that one more time. One, two, perfect. Chin up a little bit. That's all that way, homie. Turn up a little bit. Perfect. Let me get this angle right here. One, two. All right, let's see. I'm gonna get one more while you standing like that. All right. One, two. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm just gonna switch this lens real right. quick. We're gonna get that same pose, kinda like, kinda like this. And you can kinda get me like this, yeah. And I'm gonna come back. And I'm trying to block you with the people in the back, so. One, two, three. Representing the shy. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Perfect. Hey, can you uh, bring that light back a little bit? Kind of like out the frame a little bit. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, that's good right there. One, two. Perfect. So I'm gonna have you kind of front lighter. Okay. So yeah, bring the light to the side just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And that's it right there. All right. One, two, three. Perfect. Hold that right there. One, two. All right, let me check that.
Let's let's see, yeah, let's let's see how it look. One, two, three. Can you squat like that in the middle of that? Just stand up and do it? Yeah. Yeah, right there. One. Yep. One, two, three. Perfect. Love it, love it. Put your chin up a little bit for me. Perfect. Love it. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. One, two. All right. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. You. Oh, where your glasses at? Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Give me like an exaggerated pose. Yeah. All right. Yeah, one, two. Perfect. Love it. I'm gonna come up and get a closer shot right there. One, two. I like that. One, two. Okay. what is going on ladies and gentlemen i hope that you just enjoyed this behind the scenes photo shoot that i actually did in chicago now i know you might be a little uh intrigued by the title and wondering what exactly does this title mean t mid and i wanted to provide you some background to exactly what i meant now when i first started this channel way 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 back I was absolutely known for pushing my favorite lens, which is the 35 millimeter Sigma 1.4. Every photo shoot was done with this lens. I mean, every photo shoot, unless it was inside of a studio. So for on location purposes, this was my go-to lens. You cannot tell me anything more until recently. Recently, I have been so unfaithful to this lens. I lack commitment to this lens and t has just been everywhere except for with this lens. And I feel so bad about that. But what has led me to get to this point is really changing things up and utilizing more of the gear that I do have. Now, what has changed my mind here recently is actually one of the lenses that I've made a video on before, because I've said the only two lenses that you need is the 35 and you guessed it, the 85 millimeter. This is now my bread and butter. For on location, I absolutely love this lens. Now, is it the 1.4 or is it just that compression that gives you that look? If you know what I'm talking about when I say that look, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. The ironic thing about this is that I actually bought this lens, the 85 millimeter 1.4 GF mount lens back in 2021 when I first started my channel. And I bought it for the most absolutely dumbest reason ever. I said it was something different than I had and compared to the other lenses that I had, I said, you know what? This front glass element is bigger and it will look cool on my camera setup. I kid you not. Probably one of the dumbest reasons I could have bought anything. But so from 2021 up until now, 
it really has just stayed and collected thus on my shelf. I kid you not. Until recently, 2023 is when I really started to spring out that 85 millimeter lens. And ever since then, I have been unfaithful to the 35. I love capturing the environment, but something about that 85 just get you and if you know this is the f mount version this is the z mount 85 1.2 so this one is even more crazy okay the results from this one at f 1.2 it should be illegal for this lens to be this sharp so when i say i've been unfaithful it's still in the realm of the gear that I've always said that I use, which is the main two lenses I take everywhere, the 35 and the 85. But here recently, the 85 millimeter has just been getting all of my time, okay? All of the quality time that it wants. So that is all I mean. <laughs> and of course, we know as photographers, videographers, that tends to change up throughout your journey so absolutely nothing wrong with that let me know if you have a relationship like that one all right t to the m to the idd until the next video peace